Hey guys, what is up? Red Pet Mining here. How you guys all doing? Hope you're all doing really well and have a really great day. As you guys can see, I got 16 graphics cards to work and mine on this Threadripper system now. You guys may have saw that Threadripper system video where I tried to get multiple of these 1 to 4 adapters to work on this Threadripper motherboard and utilizing the different PCIe slots, M.2 to PCIe adapters, all that kind of stuff. We tried to get it to work with at least, you know, getting up to 24, but we can only get up to 16. And here we are. It is now working because of this adapter. This is a PCIe bifurcation X4, 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 X4 adapter. And this is made and designed by C underscore Payne. He has a website that sells these cards and I was like, man, is this gonna work or not? And thank you to 56 and Chump Change XD for sending me that link to see if this would work. And I ordered three of them. Okay, so right now I got one on the motherboard on the full X16 slot. And then it is basically, you know, dividing it up into X4. Okay, so you can see this here is an X4, 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 X4 adapter. And on the C-Pain website, they have different versions as well. They have like an X8, X8. But the reason why I ordered this one specifically is because the motherboard, the BIOS setting for the PCIe slots, the X16 slots, all three of them can do X4, 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 X4 mode. And so that is why I ordered three of these. But then I realized that I may not be able to fit uh, well, I can fit these cards on here, but the caveat is right now is these multiplier cards and hubs that I'm using are, you can see, they go out like this much, right? And so the spacing is really tight. I don't think I can add any more of these uh, PCIe 1 to 4 adapters, and especially if I were to put this one at the very end, which I think I'll may, I may be able to, or I'm going to use this one uh, to go on the end here, like this then maybe I can do four more expanders like this onto this, which then I could maybe have 32 GPUs if this other card will work uh, in this slot here. So I just verified with you all, we can get 16 to mine in Windows here, and you can see I'm getting about almost over 800 mega hash on this whole rig, just insane. And I had such a fun time, you know, editing the batch file for T-Rex Miner. Just hilarious. It took me a good half an hour to put in all these numbers and it is based on the order of which the GPUs are seen in the software here as you guys can see on all of these different GPUs and yes I am trying my luck right now on the solo Ethereum mining pool on two miners just for fun I just want to see you know if we can find a block or not but I don't think so just for fun this whole build is just for fun anyways but yeah guys i'm literally shaking as i'm recording this video because i am like extremely excited that i can get 16 to work now instead of the previous 13. so the next step what i'm gonna do i'm gonna shut her down we are gonna add in this card or maybe this one i'm just gonna see how the spacing is because uh, i do want to do both of these cards eventually but uh, we'll see in today's video if we can get 24 uh, to work so I'm gonna add another four GPUs here and another four over here and then uh, we'll see if that works I was thinking for the future and I don't want to get ahead of myself here is if I could find an x16 ribbon cable just so I could extend it uh, to like my other tables here if I wanted to do 32 GPUs 
if I can get 24 to work. So that's an idea I had. I don't know if that's gonna work or not. If you guys want me to try that, let me know down below. But for now, I just wanna concentrate on seeing if I can add another one of these bifurcation cards and you know, hopefully it will distribute the PCIe lanes just perfect on like this other card here on that X16 slot that can recognize 16 graphics cards, okay? It's just incredible that this works. I am just so shocked that this is working right now. Anyways, enough talk. You guys will see another four GPUs, and so we'll see if we can get 20 to work, or at least to show up in Windows in three, two, one. All right. I was able to put another one of these bifurcation cards, uh, the smaller half size one. Okay, so if you guys can see the difference there, this is like a lower profile one and this is like a full size, but the PCIe slots are like in vertical way, all right, instead of horizontal on this low profile one. All right, so let's go ahead and try. I got three 3070s and one 3080 Ti, so I am simply gonna turn on the power for this one first. Uh, so I'll turn on these GPUs and those four in the back. I gotta turn on this one next. And you guys may be wondering, Red Panda, how come you're not using the floppy cable method and that is because uh, I, I got some weird shorting issue with those cables from Parallel Miner. I don't know why. Like one was turning on and then the other one was turning off. And so I was just like, forget it. I'm just going to take them out. And uh, all right. Anyways. Okay. All the GPUs are on. Now let's turn on the motherboard. Here we go. Three, two, one. So in theory, we should get something on the screen real soon in order for uh, this guy to work. The other bifurcation card at X4, X4, X4 mode. And anything, no. Usually we would get something by now. Yeah, nothing, it's not booting. Okay, uh, so what I wanted to verify with you all, so let, let's turn it off. And uh, if I press the power button, yeah, if I press it once, it should turn off. Now, if I took this out, okay, just like that, and I'm going to turn it back on, I just want to show you guys how it behaves with just the first bifurcation card with the uh, 1 to 4 adapters. And we should theoretically get something on the screen. Right now, there we go. So that works when I unplugged it. Okay, the other bifurcation card with the one to four adapter. So there we go, it booted with just that and without this. So I'm gonna turn it off and uh, I'm so confused why it's not working. I'm gonna try taking out three USBs, so three GPUs connected to this one to four adapter just to see if it'll work with one. Maybe that might work, give me a sec. Okay, one's just plugged in, let's turn it on. And let's see if anything will come up on the screen. So maybe we're capped at 16 GPUs for some reason. Uh, one thought I had actually is uh, maybe if I change the CPU because I can fit like maybe a 3960X uh, WX one of those 24 core, 48 thread CPUs from AMD. I think it has 88 PCIe lanes versus the uh, 1900X I have on here now that only has 64 PCIe lanes. I think four goes to the chipset and maybe a few to the other IO. So maybe that's why, yeah, nothing has come up on the screen when uh, I have this bifurcation card and then just one USB. So I'm gonna try now, I'm gonna turn it off and I want to try it with the 1X adapter, just to see if that'll work. Let me try. Okay, I'm going to try it at the bottom slot, just to see if that'll... Yeah, let's do it like that. Okay, let's turn it on. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay. Will it boot with at least 17 GPUs? Okay, nothing. Yeah, nothing's coming up. Uh, okay, we're not done. Never give up, never surrender. The words of Tim Allen from Galaxy Quest. What I'm gonna try here, guys, I'm gonna put this other bifurcation card on that slot because, yeah, there's no way I can fit this one because it's, it's pretty high. 
it's gonna hit these other one to four slots uh, adapters here so uh, let me turn it off and yeah verify yeah nothing's come up so I'm gonna put this on the other x16 slot that's already in the x4 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 mode uh, set in the BIOS okay so I will be right back Okay, I got the other bifurcation card plugged in into the other X16 slot, and so I took out that other one that was in the middle, okay? Just to let you guys know, it was this card right here. And now, uh, let's go ahead and turn it on and see if that works, maybe, maybe. Uh, I'm hopeful, but uh, I think if that other one card did not work, uh, yeah, nothing's coming up on the screen. I'm gonna give it a little bit more, more time here. Uh, no luck, my friends. I think, uh, I think we're maxed out. I think we've run out of PCIe lanes. I think this is what I'm thinking of. If I could get a higher CPU, a higher like Ryzen, uh, maybe a 3990WX, I think it has 128 PCIe lanes. If I can get my hands on one of those, if anyone is out there that'll let me borrow a 3990X that will fit on an ASRock X399 motherboard, okay, so specifically uh, this one right here, okay, the Phantom Gaming 6 X399. Okay, so if anyone has a CPU compatible that has 128 PCIe lanes, let me know. I will love to give it a try to see if I can get past the 16. But the funny thing I'm trying to think about is how I was able to get 13 before, but not 16. And then now that I added these cards, these bifurcation cards, uh, it's uh, it, I can get 16 on the one full X16 slot, which is nuts, right? But when I add a second one, or even maybe the third one, it probably won't even work anyway. Uh, when I do these one to four adapters, or even I did, uh, you guys saw earlier, just the X1 adapter, it doesn't show up on the screen. So I'm gonna take this out, I'm gonna shut her down just real quick here. And I'm gonna take this out and turn it on again. Just Let's just do this real time, just to verify that this thing will turn on uh, with the initial 16, not with these four, to make it 20. So let's see here, we should see the ASRock screen here in a second. And there we go, right? 16 can boot just fine on the single bifurcation card, not with the second one. So that's really weird. I wonder if that, yeah, some PCIe lane detection issue uh, when I added the other bifurcation card or something that uh, I can only get up to 16. So I wonder if, I don't know, can I split these bifurcation cards even further? I don't think so. I, I don't, I, I don't know. I, I, what if I put this on to the X, the other X16 slot on the bifurcation card and see if that were, yeah, I don't think so. I, uh, I'm getting uh, too ahead of myself, guys. All right, I think that's it. We verified, yeah, we can get 16 to show up at least, but uh, why not, you know, why not 20 or 24 or, or 17, right? We tried just one and uh, that, that didn't go through on the other bifurcation card. But all in all, I'm not giving up. I do want to see if I can get a higher processor, uh, a better one than a 1900X that I have in here currently that only goes up to, uh, you know, around 60 or 55 PCIe lanes because uh, a lot of other stuff use it, right? So if I were to get like a 3960X that has at least 88 PCIe lanes or a 3990WX that has 128, I wonder if that'll work on this and uh, give me the ability to expand uh, more graphics cards on this rig. Uh, that would be incredible. You guys can let me know about that. But just to verify with you all, we can see 16 GPUs initially on Windows. And you know what, let me get it mining here because uh, I think that's what you guys want to see. I think it's pretty cool that I can, uh, we can get, you know, 16 to work on here, which is just, just incredible. So. Yeah, I'm probably gonna let this go as uh, I'm testing my solo mining luck on Ethereum on this rig. And uh, you guys can see it's it's gonna go pretty crazy and making the DAG files and uh, that stuff. So 
yeah yeah let me know what you guys think this is pretty crazy I'm you know what I'm wanting to try these bifurcation cards on other motherboards just a disclaimer if anyone's looking to buy these you know you got to make sure you have the bio settings at least for the x4 x4 ones here so if your motherboard doesn't support that then uh, you may have I don't think these will work for you if you're trying to get like 16 GPUs like I did here with uh, all these multiplier hubs and uh, adapter cards you guys know I got these from AAA Wave and uh, yeah they're, they're pretty cool but oh yeah one thing I want to explain is you know that all these X1 adapters coming from the risers you know it natively already drops it down to X1 anyway right and then this USB cable brings it over I guess and turns it into an X4 on this bifurcation card so X4 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 and so in theory that's why it works with the 16 GPUs but one thing I'm just confused now is uh, why didn't these other bifurcation cards work with at least one? Is there a bottleneck with the CPU? Maybe the RAM? Maybe the PCIe lane distribution? Yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's what I'm gonna boil it down to. Anyways, my friends, thanks for watching. Again, if anyone has a CPU they'll let me borrow that has at least you know 88 or 128 PCIe lanes, let me know down below. And just to show you guys the hash rate for this whole rig currently, yeah, 820 mega hash. And I definitely need to change the thermal pads on these 3080s. Oh my god, 110 Celsius on the uh, MSI RTX 3080. Oh god, I think that's the MSI Trio. Okay, yeah, I need to change all the thermal pads on these GPUs. This Zotac is pretty bad too, but the MSI Trio I know is definitely bad. Uh, these are non-LHR 3080s and I do have a bunch of uh, thermal pads but I don't know if these are going to be okay to use or not. I got all different sizes, 3 mil, 1.5, uh, 2 mil, some minus pad, 3 millimeter. Yeah, anyways. Okay guys, that's it. Let me know your thoughts. I appreciate you all. I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one and peace out.